Hey lightweights and welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption. Last video we finally made it down into Mexico and then I stopped, turned right back around and was finishing up some smaller side things that I had left off before we went down there. Um, so I am not in Mexico at the start of this video. Uh, I have been told by a lot of people once I get into the main stories of Mexico I'm not going to want to go back because it's just so much fun and I'm going to get wrapped up into it. Uh, so I really want to start off this video by finishing up some of the loose ends that I have in the non-Mexico area, specifically um, the last hideout that I need for the Deadly Assassin's outfit. I don't know. There's some outfit that needs some scrap that I'm almost done with. I have one more hideout um, up where we left off. So I'm going to do that before we start. Also, there were a couple stranger missions in Mexico. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do those right away or not. I promise I will do at least one main mission in Mexico, um, but I really just want to make sure that I don't get sucked into the main story and forget about the other stuff. So uh, bear with me. A lot of you have been giving me pointers about houses to buy because you get outfits and things to do and orders in which to do the main missions. Thank you so much for that. Uh, so I'm going to try to make sure I'm keeping note of those comments and trying to implement those as best as possible. For everyone who is slightly annoyed that I got to Mexico and then left it hanging and didn't do anything there, I apologize, but I'm trying to do as much as possible. So in terms of the recording standpoint, I need to fit it where it will fit. Uh, and some of these stranger missions and side things, I kind of just have to like shove in there at the end. So um, I apologize for that, but I hope that you are still enjoying the playthrough. I'm having a ton, a ton, a ton of fun, and I cannot wait to keep playing. If you're enjoying it, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do, so that you know when I post the next video. Here we go, you guys. Okay. All right, so when I turned the game on, there was a stranger mission over by the movie theater. So I'm going to start off with that, because I have no idea what the heck this is. Hey, shooter, get your ass over here. Nope. Can I go in there without watching the movie? Or is this guy in the back? Or girl? Well, can I help you? Hello there. What brings a fine specimen like yourself to my humble establishment? Establishment? This place looks like a schoolhouse. Such limited thinking. Have you not seen the future, my friend? We make dreams! Are you not a devotee of the cinematic arts? Arts is what you call it? Granted, I only have a poor imitation of the true Nickelodeon. But that is why I am to build my new film studio and make new Austin with its cheap land and fine climate the second center for the motion picture industry. Hell, a couple good years now we'll be here. I'll produce adventure stories, as well as melodramas for the ladies, and even some fantastical shorts for children, young and old. Heard there's an old ranch ripe for exploitation just north of here. Apparently, the owner is a frequent lover and loser at the liar's dice tables over at Thieves' Landing. If you could do me the favor to wrest control from him, I'd reward you quite highly. A career in the arts awaits. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I'll he wants. I'll see what I can do. Not much of a high-stakes gambler, and movies seem like drivel. Drivel? No, sir. We speak to a man's soul. Listen, if you run into a chap named Spatchcock, tell him to get back to work. Who? Spatchcock. <laughs> Trained as the finest gunslinger and hero in motion picture history. Then the fool began to believe it was for real. And now he's run off to become a gunslinger. For real. Heard he's in Benedict Point. Fool will have himself killed if you don't help. If I see him, I'll tell him. A producer credit awaits, sir. I'm definitely not doing that right now. I'll probably finish 
this up off camera unless you guys really want to see it. But I don't think you need to watch me play any more type of gambling games. <laughs> But let me know if you want me to finish this quest line up on camera or not. Maybe it goes someplace pretty cool. Yeah, cowboy when I am running and I jump on my horse. Come on, horsey. This way. that guy <laughs> died on the ground. Come on, let's finish him off. I'm way over my head here. Them animals. Walton's boys have taken my daughter. Ooh, Looks like we got trouble heading our way. Right here! Please! 
Please! Oh, Save that's the one. My daughter. Thank God you're safe. Let's get you back oh, home. You poor thing. Cute little house. Don't know what that noise is. Sorry, what is sorry. happening? So completely unrelated to Red Dead. <laughs> I was replaying Skyrim for like the 100th time because I love that game. And I had dropped dragon bones on the floor in my house that I bought in Whiterun. And it wasn't furnished, so I had no place to store them. So I just dropped them on the ground. And then I forgot to pick them up before I paid to furnish it. And the dragon bones glitched through the floor. So anytime I went into my house in Whiterun, it was making this horrible, like, noise very similar to that, but louder. That I could not get to go away no matter what I did. <laughs> it was so annoying. And I could tell right where they were under the floor because it would get louder and then you could tell you were just standing right on top of it. It was horrible. I basically gave up on my house in White Run because I couldn't stand it. Which is a shame because White Run is my favorite. I thought, oh, there he is. I kind of want to do the next one of this. Go! Mm -mm. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's cool. How do I get up there? Noise. This is a messy one. Why can't I get up there? There we go. So this guy was just chilling with wolves? What the hell? Why can't I skin those? That was weird. Come on. Let's get this over with. Donkey sounds so distraught. I see rabbits. Oh, that one's too far away. We have to stop meeting like this, John. <laughs> What are you doing in Mexico, sir? Welcome to Nuevo Paraiso, John. Where do I know you from? You're famous, John. 
You're the man who shot a bunch of banditos as soon as he turned up in this country. You're a man who decided right and wrong between a man and death, between a man and his wife. And who are you? You know, I admire you, John. I hope my boy turns out just like you. <laughs> For your sake, I hope he don't. You kill people so easily, yet you respect the vows of marriage. That's very curious. I'll let the appropriate authorities judge my morality, friend. Yes, you will. And they shall. Anyway, I hear that an old nun is traveling from the monastery, taking the money she raised at the bank. Why don't you head up there and see if you can lend her a hand? Road's full of thieves. Either that or rob her yourself. I'll see you around, John. I hope you don't. Please tell me that sister called her own. Go, John, go. Or are you not the man I thought you were? <laughs> well, are you gonna do what I asked? Will you give me a minute to compose myself? Good lord. I freaking love her. I hope it's her. I'm crying and I don't even know it's her. Ugh. Hearing about an old nun make me so freaking emotional. <clears throat> I swear, you guys. This will fetch a good price. I don't know what this game does to me. Okay, there's rapids afoot. Mm, go away! I'm trying to kill rabbits. Alright. Uh, what do I need? Oh my god, I still have like, that looked like three rabbits left. I think I'm gonna run for a little while because... It was real- oh my god, there's another one! It was really hard to... Is that a fox? I don't know. It's running away. I'm gonna leave it. Anyways. It was really hard to get the freaking. <laughs> okay, clearly I'm in wolf territory. I need to get moving because I'm going to be skinning all of these animals all day. Slow it up now. You guys told me to buy a house somewhere and I can't remember where. Let's look at it. Oh, is this the right one? <gasps> Tell me I guessed right. Outfits. Oh, 
Yes. I love it. Arm wrestling? Oh, that's an arm. It looked like a Let's go. a weird feather. <laughs> oops, oops, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we just almost went airborne. I did that with my pistol or revolver, or whatever the hell. Cause I don't know. <laughs> this is mighty generous of you, Mister. Not a problem, sir. Hey, madre. Oh, the trumpet. Mm. She looks like Siri. Go. That's enough. Okay, I have not done this in a long time. Oh god. I got you now. Let's make Bonnie proud, people. Longer than when I did this for Bonnie. Oh my god! Here we go. <laughs> I thought it was done! Oh! You're like Siri's cousin! Dang it, I need a hitching post though. Um oh, over there. Yeah. Ooh. Hitch. Yay! Hi! Oh, you're skinny. Please be sister Calderon. Please, please, please. Many people without food. Almas Arms for the poor. Uh, oh, sir. Could you find it in your heart to her. donate some money for the poor? Perhaps cast a little sunlight into their lives? Well, maybe, but ain't it the Lord's responsibility to look over his flock? Not mine? Yes. But the Lord has brought you to me, so you could help me. They're at their wit's end, and their faith has been cast aside. All it would take is a few dollars to get them started on the right path, so they could see there are those who care. A few dollars to completely restore someone's faith? I never knew life is so simple. There you are, sister. Yes. Life is much simpler than we make it. Gracias, señor. And God bless you. I feel like it's her, but I don't know. If you don't mind, I am very busy. I just want to look at you. Is I don't know if it's because I, I want it to you? be her so badly that I'm, like, projecting her. But... They seem so similar. <laughs> All 
All right, Landon Ricketts. I'm coming for you. Let's go. Horn, I saw a rabbit up here. Must be someone around. Chupa Rosa. ¿Qué pasó con el otro? No te rompas, pendejo, la dejé en la casa. Y les digo, de aquí para acá, chingan a su madre. ¿Qué? ¿Y qué no, nos trae ese güey? Y de aquí para acá, son pendejos. ¡Eh, hey, gringo! ¿Hablas español? No, sir. Pardon, pero yo hablo un solo poquito español. <laughs> poquito. Habla inglés? Oh, sí, gringo. Hablo mucho inglés. Sí. Hablo filthy fucking bean eater. Hablo slippery little Mexican. Oh. Hablo little piece of shit. Shit. <laughs> ¿Comprende, amigo? ¿Comprende? Hey, what are you doing here, gringo? I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean you no harm. <laughs> you mean us no harm? This is funny. <laughs> what harm could you do to us exactly? <laughs> Nothing, amigo. Now, I appreciate the welcome committee, but I'd hate to spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land with any further unpleasantries. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, hold it, gringo. I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> I have a large family. <laughs> I too have a family friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> Don't touch my hand. Can I see the boots, gringo? I think you can see them from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, Americano. Nope. As you wish. <laughs> Shouldn't have touched my hat. Oh, I'm very, very sensitive good. about my hat. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> a socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. Not many things, most of them bad. But a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home, a man who handles a gun as sloppy as you. I can handle a gun okay, partner. Yeah, as long as you're killing quail or peasants. But if you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do? I can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? <laughs> that doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a 
real American, huh? Wonderful. Just wonderful. That was not a very nice welcome to Chuparosa. What? Where are we? <laughs> Chuparosa? Well, you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting. For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. <sighs> Escuela's from here. It could be. This whole place is teeming with a, with Americans on the run. Mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? <sighs> yeah. Never really ends. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, just like the last two or three. Local government? Foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise it makes the gun jump. See if this Schofield makes a difference. Now that's a real gun. Well done. Now that wasn't Sweet. so hard, was it? Follow me. We're gonna try something a little more challenging. Take me to some bunnies, please. The birds around here are always raising hell, scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals. I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of Chuparosa. Here we'll do. I'm gonna scare up some birds. Let's see if you can take down more than one at a time. Sir, you've been taught well. <laughs> I'd have to say I'm surprised you heard of Landon Ricketts. I would have thought an old goat like me would have been long forgotten by now. I heard many a story when I was a boy. Still do sometimes. What, these days? I find that hard to believe. What do people say? Oh, you know how them conversations go. Fellers arguing over who's the toughest, who's the fastest, and who shot people in the back. I place good money on me still being the fastest. Is that so, old man? I spent my life proving people wrong, partner. I, Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Senor Ricketts! Por favor, Senor! Our back wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Senor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Yes. Sure. Yes, I am. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. <laughs> Come on, these people need me. Work. Come on. So why are you looking for these two men? It's a long story. We used to ride together. We was all friends once. Only a buzzard feeds on his friends. There must be a high bounty on their heads. What would you do if somebody took the people you love and told you they'd die if you didn't do as they asked? Whoa! There they are. Follow me. I need to get out of here! Landon, you good? Oh, 
Oh, I forgot I had to paint them now. Oh, shit. Bunch of amateurs. First time, but all right, let's move out. Everybody stay alert. I discovered the bandito outfit. Come on. Sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even. Come on. All right, where is the store in this place? store in this place? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. I guess let's do... Another Landon Ricketts mission. Because I kind of like him. Hola, mi linda. Que bonita estas hoy. How's your poker face? Alright, well... It is... Oof. Almost time to go back. I really want to get another rabbit, but... <laughs> Oh, 
What's the rush there? <laughs> no ves tres muy, en un muy bueno. Hello. Estoy aquí. Si usted tiene alguna preguntita. Excelente. Un placer hacer negocios contigo. Oh, wonderful. A ver qué tienes. Me y sí. Emocionante. Un placer hacer negocios contigo. ¿Qué tal? Bueno, That's parece it. que usted sabe lo que busca. All right, let's try to go back to Landon Ricketts and see if I can do this next mission. How about we play us some poke? How about no? It is. No, oh, it's not quite. Ugh. Are you kidding me? We walk really slowly, we should be okay. There we go. Muy interesante. Gracias, amigos. Mr. Marston, how the devil are you? I'm fine. How are you, Mr. Ricketts? I'm good. I'm glad you're here because these men were just telling me about Mr. Escuela. Javier Escuela? Emilio, let me ask you something. His nombre is Javier, Senor Escuela. Is Javier to see? No sé, Senor. <sighs> he doesn't know. I got that bit. Ask him, <laughs> was he about five foot eight? Mustache? Did he have an American in tow? A big American? Emilio, the Stabacone, uh, grindy Americano? Yo no sé. <laughs> no. Ag again, I got that. <laughs> But they do have his sister. Emilio's, I mean. She's a fine young woman, a teacher, a human being, not the clothed vermin so many people seem to have turned into. Tell him I'm sorry. When a man's family is involved, you need a little more enthusiasm than mere apologies. I have enough worries, sir. This man's problems pain me, but they're not quite my own. Those who sit on the fence make a choice in their own way. Don't you think, Mr. Marston? Of course. And what about you, Ricketts? A man living in the past? A man who ran away from home? What choice did you make? I'll tell you what choice I made. I'm a fighter, sir. And I'll fight to the end. I think we should get going. You can take the train with me or ride yourself. It makes no odds to me. How are you, sir? Oh, that's all the way back where I was. <sighs> Alright, I guess let's ride with Landon. Maybe I've been we'll hearing have some, some things about you, John Marston. Really? That perhaps you're more in need of my help than I thought. Is that so? That some recent encounters with this Bill Williamson fella haven't gone exactly in your favor. Funny how everyone seems to know my business, but nothing about the men I'm looking for. It isn't easy getting the locals to talk.
the only way to travel, so they keep telling me. We'll get off at Casa Madrugada and ride from there. Come on, horses are over here. My horse finally has a saddle. Um, Landon? All right, let's head to El Matadero and see what they know about Luisa. We need to find a man called Carlos. I was told he could help us. We'll ask around when we get there, but we don't want to draw attention. See if you can keep your gun holstered for once. You're the hero around here, Mr. Ricketts, not me. What does the army want with this Luisa girl anyway? She's a rebel, and apparently close to their leader, Reyes. She's a pretty young thing. That's normally reason enough for Alinde. So I've heard. She's a good woman, a teacher. If they lay a finger on her, I swear I'll feed those bastards their balls. I like how he just assumes we're good people because we're teachers. I appreciate that. Here we are. Looks kind of sleepy, don't it? Whoa! All right, let's find this Carlos guy. Carlos! See? We're here for Luisa. She's still being held up in the caves? Yes. She's still up there. Who's the cowboy? We're here to help. Mm, muy bien. I can distract the guards. You and the gringo can get inside. Why are you Let's wearing... Let's do it. ...a white shirt while you're butchering an animal? I will keep them talking, like senor. The rest plan. I will leave to you. All right, let's find Luisa. Bochornoso, ¿verdad? No lo voy a decir otra vez. ¡No puedes estar aquí! Eh, oye, soy yo, Carlos. Pues trabajo en el matadero. No me importa quién eres. Esta es una zona militar prohibida. Vete a casa. Me gustan sus botas. Muy bonitas. Mi hermana tiene las mismas. Pinche campesino de mierda. Te voy a colgar al lado de tu cerdo. Váyanse al infierno, traidores. Well, I say we've waited long enough. Oh. The entrance is down this way. Where's my cover, Marston? Got it! Get up there and see it! Don't 
give him any room. My lord! If you laid a finger on her... What the hell? What are you doing back there? Luis is coming with us. Yeah, this is not cover. <laughs> Get behind the table. I'm gonna blow it. Oh, okay. What were you doing while I was providing cover? I thought this is what you were doing. <laughs> Do you need that much dynamite for one Stand door? Stand back, damn it! Here goes! Seemed a little excessive. Come on, boy! Poor girl's barely alive. Let's get the hell out of here before any more of them show up. Rickets. Looks like Carlos left us some horses. Come on. It does not want me to get on that horse. <sighs> Poor Louisa. Let's go before any more of them show up. Going. Are you drunk? What is this? Yeah! Look out! More of the bastard! I got you, Landon. I 
Looks like we got two more up there. Three more up there. Fast. doesn't feel right here. Carlos? There he is. Talk about cutting it fine. Luisa! Gracias a Dios. Thank you for saving me. You're a good man. Friends of the people of this land. Was someone named Harvey Esquela one of the men holding you? No. I don't know. I don't think so. But I remember that name from prison. Bad people spoke of him. I told you, John, he's still in Mexico. Okay, then. I guess we'll keep looking. Uh, yeah. I can't imagine if you have an injury having to ride a horse. That just seems super painful. <laughs> I like how the fame goes up and he's like, yeah. All right, I have to stop there. Um, you guys were not wrong. It has really gotten super exciting in Mexico. I don't know why. Um, I think because I feel like we're super close now to Javier and Bill and I know that I still have a decent amount of game left so we can't be that close but I don't know it just feels like we're we're getting closer to our mission and um, I loved 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 seeing the nun. I don't know if it's the same nun as RDR2 but I'm telling myself that it is. I loved her you guys if you watched my RDR2 playthrough which all of you or most of you probably have. Um, you know how much I loved my interactions with her. I always got emotional around her. That was the same in this video. She's just such a genuinely good human being and I am so happy that who I think was her <laughs> was in this game again and it just like warms my heart to interact with her again and it you know brings up all the, the good memories of Arthur trying to turn his life around in RDR2 and it just makes me happy. Um, it's still disappointing to me that we have to hunt down some of our gang members. It seems like Javier has turned into not so good of a guy. And I know a lot of you are like, you guys were never good. You were always in a gang. You always killed people. And yes, I know that, but it's, it's different. Um, and I, I'm not going to get into the semantics of all of it, and I'm not going to get into a debate about it, but it feels different. Like before we did bad things, but we weren't necessarily bad people. Now it almost feels like they're just straight up bad people. And I guess I don't really know much about Javier in this game yet, but from this episode, it seems like he's bad people. And that's heartbreaking and disappointing, um, but makes sense considering he's harboring Bill. So I'm excited to keep playing. I hope that I get some more missions with the stranger. I'm going to be damned if I don't find another rabbit. So I'm probably going to look for it off screen because you guys are probably tired of hearing me looking for and blindly missing rabbits that hop around right in front of me. I don't know what it is about the rabbits, but I just can't see them. I can't see them. It's like my brain doesn't register them. I don't know. They blend in for my eyes. Um, so I will probably finish that up off screen. Um, please let me know in the comments below if you want me to do that one stranger mission where I need to go to Thieves Landing and gamble some more on camera, because if not, I'm just going to do that off camera. Um, but I'll wait till I hear back from you guys for that. 
and I'm just really excited to keep playing. I'm really excited to keep getting my outfit scraps and to explore and all that good stuff. I'm just having a ton of fun and I hope that you are too. If you are and you haven't already, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next video. And as always, thank you so much for watching you guys. I really appreciate it and I hope you have an amazing day.